go out and plant rubber trees. At the same time, like we're really in debt, and they need that's that's what needs some capital. And so therefore, uh, uh, what they really needed five stone for was diplomatic cover, not even for the investment. Because once Harvey Firestone, uh, they said they would uh, let him do the plantation, right? The uh, United States government put his military and diplomatic ties behind Liberia to save his sovereignty. And also, uh, 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 the, the loan Firestone initially gave, right, it saved Liberia from going into receivership through the uh, League of Nations and the, uh, the British. So it was American convenience. Firestone promised uh, to build the port of Monrovia, which they never did. But they did build the Farmington River, where we, we, we were just at the Farmington Hotel. They built the Farmington River Dam, which was the first uh, uh, electrical uh, hydro dam in Liberia. And that gave uh, electricity to Monrovia, street lights, and electricity to Monrovia. Uh, and then uh, when they had to the, the plant a tree, they use a special type of graft, I think from Brazil, which they take a piece of the bark, right? And they uh, carve a piece off the tree, tie it to the tree, right? And the tree become rubber trees and everything. They gotta plant thousands of those, they bring nursery. Once the nurseries are ready, at a certain point, right? Like these are like nurseries, you know, like almost mature trees. They take them and plant them, uh, plant them in a field. It's time for rainy season. So it takes about a good eight years for the tree to tap and be uh, produces a rubber. And so therefore there was like a million acres here leased to the fire so company in 1926 the lease is gonna be up in 2026. So the fire so uh, uh, also has a right here to um, to extract gold or anything else on the territory, but they don't own the land. They don't own the credit card. They, they lease it to the government. So that's a one For thing. how many years? 100 years. 100 years will be up in two years. So we're in George Black's Liberians. But the challenge is, in that time period, the Liberians, right, should have figured a way how to transition from just rubber tapping to the rubber industry. You know, Ellen did good. But that wasn't enough, you know? If they built the rubber industry, you know, built tires here, and got Bridgestone to build some of the factories here, that would have been a game changer, you know? But that did not happen. We're gonna see what Balkan does, you know? He's interested in building tire manufacturing. But Liberia produces a good percent of the world's rubber, but it imports tires. During George Beard's time, he got into a business deal with one Indian oh. businessman. That's where the post is. Yeah, but I used to come and 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 I used to come yeah. Uh, one of the, he's a very prominent Indian businessman. He's Indian, he's not black. And he's building a factory. It should have been Liberian, yes, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it. It's gonna give it. Yeah, but you know, at least it's a step. Well, we have to be thankful for them because yeah, they, 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 they've been a part of the growing up Africa. Yeah. That's a vital And I'd rather the Indians than the Chinese. Know, at all costs, you gotta you got do that yourself. Oh you yeah, know? for sure, but at least during the George Beard government, he was able to get GT to invest in a tire manufacturing com company. Because what's the essence of you producing rubber and you can't buy tires here for cheap? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, you and then you're importing tires. Yeah, exactly, we're importing tires. Not even new tires, used tires like that. Wow, that is um Yeah, to buy used tires in Liberia is like fifty dollars US. So and we the one who produces we produce rubber. There's no sense. Years, all figure this out no, we couldn't because in ninety years the president Yeah, in ninety years the presidents that we had never really had love for the country. No, no, they say they did doing, but he was killed. 
Okay, maybe and, uh, he, the mono, yeah, maybe the mono, he was, the mono, And the whole Civil War set the whole back nation back. back. Yeah. You know, had all that in mind, even the steel mills in Liberia. They took him out, they took him out. They took him out. They took him out. And I mean, the I, this country is a country of, uh, 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 I won't say producers, but like consumers. We're a nation of consumers. But that's why now the newcomers, Liberians are coming back and creating businesses. We're trying to. So we, at least we're moving in the right direction. To become producers. Yeah. But before, it's like the war had to open our eyes because Liberians at first, there was a, there's, a, there's a saying that was very popular in Liberia. I born here, I die here. Meaning, I have no reason to go anywhere else. But because it, because it never went anywhere else, you have no sense that you should be growing your food. Did it, yeah, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't understand industry. that. Because Liberia, Liberians were using U.S. dollars. So there was no need. At that time, Liberians, before the war, was using U.S. dollars. What, what's, the, what's the essence? I'm getting paid in U.S. dollars. If a man from Guinea come and sell fruits, I'll buy it for cheap and still have enough money. Why do I want to go on a farm? And then, like, I will make mention of my father again because my father is very well educated and he's very well experienced. My father told me that Liberians stop working on the farm when USA came into the village and started giving free rice. So why should they work on the farm and produce rice when they're getting rice from USA? That turns them into a welfare system. Yes, exactly. In the 1950s, a lot, a lot of things mm -hmm. Liberia benefited first before any other country in the developing world. <laughs> Liberia and the Philippines. When they first started Peace Corps, what country started? What what, what was the first country? That, yeah, it was Liberia that first received Peace Corps um, volunteers. Huh? They left this. You know, Peace Corps are actually armed with the CIA. The data they collect for the African and everything. So, you know, they, yeah, that's how they do it. Maybe, maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe you're right. There's a lot of CIA operatives here. Yeah, the Peace Corps brought them in, you know? So, Colin, what, what role does the church, the Christian church, play in this oppression? Keep oh, a lot. Keeps them they, they, they have a lot to They're do with this, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, the poverty yeah. Not the, the Mennonites and the Mormons. Oh, you, you will find Mennonites here in Liberia. I saw them at the hotel. You got oh, you did? Yeah. You got, okay. They didn't want to talk to me. I tried to ask them no, questions. No, no, they, they have their own they communities in Bond yeah. County. They were, they were Mornings. They were Mennonites. Yeah. Oh, Mennonites. I want to ask these the people question, that, that, that these, these are people that live in the 1800s, yeah. Amish community people. That's the one she, yeah, Inez was asking what they, um, uh, what's the name? I forgot. They, they were really oh. And they got, they got their own. Okay. Yeah. 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 They got their own dairy uh, production company here. I guess because in Liberia is the land of the free, you can do anything you want. Nobody bothers you. Nobody bothers you. When somebody's trying to bother you, policeman, whoever, say, hey, my man. And you just reach their palm. That's it. <laughs> it's a true land of the free. You think America is free? Ain't no place free on this planet like Liberia. Nobody bothers you. I mean, back to back civil wars will set you back, though. Yeah. The civil war didn't last for 200 years. No, it didn't. Talk it to the money. Yeah. So that means I, I'm glad you made that point. To end it 20 I'm glad ago, you right? made that point. Yeah. That's I'm the, glad you that's made that point. Time. So you have to think why wasn't the country developed? That exactly. means the people who empowered really didn't give a damn. No, you need all participation. The people in power didn't give a damn. When people want to go to school, they send the children to America. When they get cold, they send them to America. I will make mention of my father. My father, he had the whole financial, the finance department in Lamco, your favorite county, Neba County. My father, he held, he had, he was the official finance guy. He wrote checks out to people. They would come to him and say, "I need a check." I'm getting my wife got a little cold. You want to go to America? He will write the check. And he thought it was absurd. He thought it was the most craziest thing. So instead of building a, a, a suitable hospital in, in the country, or when you make contracts with these mining companies, 
that they will have, you know, services to service the local government, I mean, the local people. They just want to go to America. How, Liberians been coming to America before any other African group. Af after the slave trade. So I don't want you guys to get confused. I have an uncle that came to America in the 1930s. We've been coming to America ever since. Yeah, we gotta come to America, learn, and come back and build. That's the idea. Yes, that's and did they do that? Everywhere. Most presidents, when they left office. Yeah, but what about the whole? What about the average Liberian? That's what I'm saying. The, 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 the Liberians now, since now, the Liberians now are going back. The Liberians during my father's time, no. Honestly, and I tell my parents that it was y'all generation. Y'all got so used going to school, get a nice government job, and relaxing. They didn't think for the future. This generation is making changes. They're making money moves. You go to Nemo County, you see it's, uh, how advanced is generation right here. This young generation, I got hope for Liberia. Yeah, it's, it's a younger generation. Like the and they, they're, 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 they're learning they're from what they learn in neighboring countries. When they were in Ghana, they learned how to hustle. But because they start seeing life is not easy. You know? Liberia, life is easy. Especially in those days before the war. And during the war, it became even easier. Every organization donated to Liberians. Yeah, they needed it, but it made them lazy. It made them extra lazy. In Liberia, they always say, it's a, it's a, it's a saying, you throw one mango seed, you throw, you throw one plum seed in the ground, in a couple of months, you will see the tree. That's how fertile our land is. So it's no need. These things grow naturally. When you go to the interior, you see mango tree, banana tree, pineapple. So why anybody want to, to really think about Oh, maybe I could make a business and sell this and no, they're not even thinking on that. All they're thinking about is just partying. That's it. My parents' generation, all they used to do was party. My father worked in the government. He was a diplomat. They used to go on vacation to the Canary Islands. That was their big place back then. Canary Islands in Spain. That was their big vacation spot. Wow, Spain. Yeah. That they were getting paid. When my father came to America, he came with ten thousand US, nineteen seventy seven. I don't even got 10000 saved up. Not to put my business out there. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> that was a lot in 1977. Yeah. He had a car. He was a big we man. Had, we had 10000 So these people were getting paid in U.S. dollars. That's why everybody said Liberia was sweet. It wasn't so much that it was developed, but because the money was there, the cash was flowing. That's where the thing was going. Trucks are dope. Yeah. These little babies, they Oh, Grand Massa County. Are we here now? No, sir, the, the, uh, the National Police uh, District of uh, Grand Massa County.